Dr. John Dispenza é o autor, é autor best-seller do New York Times, pesquisador, conferencista e consultor corporativo. Ele realiza uma brilhante interface entre ciência e espiritualidade, integrando com maestria os conhecimentos da física quântica, neurociência e epigenética para explorar a ciência por trás das remissões espontâneas. Ele usa esse conhecimento para ensinar as pessoas a curar seus corpos de problemas de saúde, fazer mudanças significativas em suas vidas e desenvolver sua consciência. Desde 2010, ele está com uma equipe de cientistas para pesquisar os efeitos da meditação no coração e nas funções cerebrais, na resposta imunológica e na saúde geral da mente e do corpo. Dr. Joe, é um imenso prazer apresentar o seu trabalho para o público brasileiro, especialmente aos meus seguidores, que já viram falar de você muitas vezes. No seu livro, Como Se Tornar Sobrenatural, você revela belas experiências místicas e afirma que tornar-se sobrenatural é, envolve abraçar uma maior consciência de si mesmo e de quem você é no mundo. Como é que você definiria uma educação voltada para a autoconsciência e para o propósito de sermos parceiros do universo na sua evolução e sermos assim também naturalmente sobre-humanos e incorporarmos é, os milagres na nossa vida cotidiana? Yeah, I think that uh, I'll answer that question uh, in two ways. Uh, first is, uh, I have been uh, privileged enough to have unusual mystical experiences throughout my entire life, that most of which I've never really shared with anybody. But those mystical moments where I became, I was transcendent of who I thought I was. I had an experience of myself that was other than me, and yet it was more real than the physical reality that I live in. And, and it was something that I was interested in. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of uh, data and research that proved its existence, but there's really four states of consciousness. There's wakefulness, there's sleep, there's dreaming, and then there's the transcendental moment. And so when I started to look at the biological systems that could be influential in creating the mystical experience, I had to dig very deeply into the scientific research, uh, empirical research, to see if there were latent systems uh, in the brain and body that once activated can cause us to go from an experience of a physical body local in space and time and three-dimensional reality Uh, to an experience of myself outside of space and time. And so in Becoming Supernatural, I do my best to explain that once these latent systems are activated, uh, a person can begin to interact with a field of information, frequency that carries information that has nothing to do with information that you're getting from your senses. In other words, you and I are sitting here talking. I'm looking at you, my eyes see Wallace. I remember you from Quantum University when I met you the first time. I, I am listening to what you're saying. I'm sitting in my chair, I'm smelling. I, you know, my body is gathering information from the environment. But when you teach a person how to change their brain waves, to begin to slow down their analytical mind, their thinking brain, and they know how to self-regulate and create more order and coherence in their brain, if they do this properly, um, as I said earlier, they begin to open a portal between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And when they do this and get adept at it, they'll do even better in slowing down the memory bank of the known self that connects them to information in three-dimensional reality. In other words, your thinking neocortex is what plugs you into reality. So then we now know, based on the research we've done, is that when people begin to slow down the brainwaves in their thinking neocortex, if they can get into this very slow brainwave state called theta, that's a very hypnotic state. That's when you're suggestible to information. It's what a hypnotist does. It slows a person's brainwaves down by relaxing them. And then they plant suggestions in their subconscious. And then they can't consciously remember it because it's planted subconsciously, but they're, they're influenced to do certain things. 
Well, don't think that when you watch TV that you're not being programmed by information because your brain is in a state of trance. So then, what if your eyes are closed, there's music playing in the background, you're sitting still, you're not eating, so you're not tasting, you're not smelling, you're not feeling and experiencing, so you're not moving around, and you're able to dial down the activity in the neocortex, and then you teach people how to become connected to frequency that's carrying information. And if the latent system in the brain is activated, then like a transducer, like a, like a radio or TV antenna, it can take a frequency and scramble it into, or descramble it into a profound visual image, like a television screen. That's exactly what the pineal gland in the back of the brain does. It has tiny little crystals in it that are stacked on top of each other that once activated, begin to tune into frequency and information. So teaching person how to disconnect from their environment, to disconnect from their body, to no longer be preoccupied with time and move into that generous present moment, the eternal now, and teach them how to tune into frequencies that are carrying information, that once that system is activated, the pineal gland will cause an effect in the brain that causes the person to have a full-on sensory experience without ever using their senses. In other words, they're sitting there and what's going on between their ears is more real than anything they've ever experienced in their entire life. So then that full-on sensory experience, imagine if your senses were heightened right now by 40%, everything you were seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling. If your senses were heightened, your awareness of everything in your environment would be heightened. And awareness is consciousness, and you can't have consciousness without energy. So when we see a person having a transcendental moment, there's an incredible release of energy that takes place in the brain that is so outside of normal that when we show it to the scientific community, the first thought that they have is they think the person's having a stroke, but it's not a stroke because it's too coherent, it's too orderly, it's too fast of a frequency. This person is interacting with energy and it's causing a very profound experience right in their brain. And so, so when they come back to their senses, that experience has changed them on a fundamental level. And the change is not happening from anything out there in their three-dimensional reality. It happens in here. And the feeling from that arousal isn't the like stress, like anger or aggression. It's not uh, fear and anxiety. It's not pain. It's ecstasy. It's bliss. It is a transcendental feeling that causes you to feel connected to something even greater. And since experience enriches the brain, and it does, and experience produces a signal to the body called an emotion, that person's inner event has changed them on a very, very profound level. It's reorganized the circuitry, that's what experience does, and the signal going to the body is less chemical, it's more electric. And the person then, as a side effect of their interaction with this mystical divine intelligence gets a biological upgrade. In other words, there goes their psoriasis, there goes their deafness, there goes their blindness, there goes their Parkinson's disease, there goes their stage four cancer. Now energy is influencing matter. And the person has learned how to get suggestible to information, but not through their senses. By becoming suggestible to information and tuning into frequencies, coherent frequencies that carry information. It's like having a Wi-Fi signal. There's a resonance that takes place and the brain, is, the, brain, the brain is prepared for that experience. And so we've narrowed it down to a formula of coherence in the brain and coherence in the heart. And when we do that properly, we have a very strong, very powerful Wi-Fi signal.